Hello and welcome to the world could lose at least a third of the Himalayan glaciers by the end of this century. A report by the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development has flagged the need to limit global warming. The ICIMOD report suggests that the region is warming faster than the global average. The report highlights that even if global warming is limited to 1.5 degrees Celsius, 36% of the glaciers in the Hindukush Himalayan region will have disappeared by 2100. Now, this could have devastating consequences on the lives of those living in the mountains as well as downstream. Remember, the Paris Climate Agreement's target is 1.5 degrees Celsius. The report says if the current emissions continue, the mountains could see temperatures more than 5.4 degrees Fahrenheit higher by the end of the year 2100. The number could rise to over 10 degrees Fahrenheit if the emissions increase. Philippus Wester, an ICIMOD scientist, said in a statement that this is the climate crisis you have you have not heard of. Now, many glaciers across the region, but particularly on the Tibetan plateau and on the eastern stretches of the mountain range, have retreated by somewhere between 20 to 47 percent since 2000. Since the 1970s, about 15 percent of the ice in the region has disappeared as temperatures have risen. Now let's take a look at what the Hindu Kush Himalayan region is all about. The region stretches across 3,500 kilometers. It is home to the world's highest peaks, the Mount Everest and the K2. The region harbors more ice than anywhere else outside Arctic and Antarctica and is hence referred to as the Third Pole. It covers eight countries, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, China, India, Myanmar, Nepal and Pakistan. The glaciers supply water to 250 million people. The water from the glacier flows into rivers that support 1.65 billion people. So what would be the melting away of these mean for the people? Now, farmers will have to go higher up the mountains to grow their orchards. For those living downstream, it would mean change in snow and rain patterns, over flooding of rivers or more natural disasters. It would also lead to unpredictable water resources for those living in the mountainous region. The change in river flows would impact hydropower production and also cause more soil erosion. Now, the flow of Yangtze, Mekong, Indus and the Ganga are also expected to be disrupted.